Here we will talk about types of food spoilage. Spoilage is really a judgment of when food has deteriorated to an unacceptable level. This is often influenced by culture, personal preferences, and individual circumstances. The basis for judgment is on appearance, odor, and taste of the food. There are two basic types of spoilage, non-microbial spoilage and microbial spoilage. The avocado pictured here has damage that was induced by an animal. This would be an example of non-microbial spoilage. The lettuce pictured is a bit slimy and degraded and was spoiled due to the growth of microorganisms. Chemical spoilage includes degradation, uh, degradation of food caused by enzymatic activity, browning, softening, rancidity, gain or loss of moisture, oxidative damage, and light damage. Browning of sliced apples is due to an enzyme polyphenol oxidase or PPO that reacts with oxygen and causes that brown coloration. Banana ripening is caused by ethylene, a gas naturally produced by the banana and other types of climacteric fruits. This can often lead to overripening to a point where one might consider that banana to be spoiled. The browning on the beef patties is caused by exposure to air or light. You'll find beer often packaged in brown or green glass to minimize light penetration because UV can lead to the development of off flavors in beer. Physical damage is another type of non-microbial spoilage. This damage could be induced by insects, rodents, or other pests. It could also be the result of mishandling as depicted by the broken breadsticks and egg on the slide here. Microbial spoilage is the most significant type of spoilage. It is an issue for growers, distributors, processors, and retailers. It is also a, sig a significant issue for consumers. Microbial spoilage is caused by the growth of molds, yeasts, and or bacteria in food.